Hey Jack here with Two Brothers Adventures out in the desert today. I'm going to test something that I'm curious about. I um, mean that's an upside down fire. Now if you've never heard of an upside down fire, don't worry because up until probably a week ago I hadn't either. Um, I've built a lot of fires in my lifetime and a lot of people have shown me how to build fires and I've been around a lot of people that have built fires. And to be honest with you, I've never seen an upside down fire. Now a traditional fire, what you do is you start with your smaller kindling and you put on your smaller twigs and you build up to your larger logs and you can either make a pyramid style or you know there's several types of different traditional um, styles there's the log cabin style whatever but typically your smaller tinder and um, your kindling and stuff is on the bottom and then you lay your your uh, bigger logs and bigger sticks up on the top now the way it upside down fire is built is that the bigger logs are on the ground you actually put them together first and then you put your tender and your kindling up on the top and you start a small fire on the top and it goes supposedly it spreads down through your pile of wood versus a traditional fire where you'll start it and it'll burn up through the wood now an upside down fire is theoretically according to everything I've heard supposedly supposed to last longer so for the same amount of wood you'll get a longer burn time so I'm gonna test that today since I've never seen one before I'm going to try and build one and see if I can test the theory. The way I'm going to try and do this um, to satisfy myself that it is a, a better way to utilize your, your fuel sources is on this side over here, if you can see I have six 2x4s roughly all the same length and I have four fatwood sticks and then over here I have six 2x4s roughly the same size and then four fatwood sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a traditional fire on this side and then I'm going to build a upside down fire on this side and I'll light them both at the same time and we'll just kind of compare the burn times. So first I'm going to just process some of this wood with my K-bar here. So I'll go ahead and start with this side. Just bear with me for a minute while I get some of this down. I think I'll third these. Now since I've got enough wood, I think I'm actually going to maybe whiten this out just a little bit. Now supposedly, you know, this will work with regular wood, the only reason I'm using uh, 2 by 4s is because I can control the amount of wood that I'm using better than I could with, you know, just wild natural twigs or sticks or logs. So typically I wouldn't bring these out here to do this with, but since I wanted to have a very controlled test for myself to see, this is the best way I could think of to make sure that I'm using roughly the same amount of wood in each one of these types of fires. That way it should give me a better understanding of if it works or not. And it's recycling these wood, these, this wood. If you recognize this, this is the wood that uh, we shot in some of our other videos so it's a good way to recycle the wood okay 
I'm going to split this one up a little bit smaller now for some kindling. I love having a big knife. Makes it so easy to process wood. Okay, now I'm going to just shave up one of these uh, fat wood sticks here a little bit. What I intend on doing is getting a lighting these fires with uh, my flint and a cotton ball soaked in Vaseline petroleum jelly. So I'll go ahead and get that out now. Kind of build my fire up around that. Get this all a little bit of puffed out so it'll catch a spark when I'm ready. I'm going to shave one more fat wood stick up here. Just to make sure I want to get this going really good when the time comes. Two fat wood on there. Okay, now as you can see here, most of most of my wood or the bigger wood is on the bottom. The smaller fire it's actually going to be started on the top and so this is where we're going to see how this works all right so we've got our first upside down fire built and we're almost out of time on this video so we're going to have to go to a part two to build the other fire and to show the burn time